So now if you saw the last video, we have the same circuit right here. I press the button, unless I get switch bounce, which we had right there. Um, I press the button, we get one uh, flash. I'm getting a lot of uh, switch bounce in this uh, demonstration. Um, there you go. Again, switch bounce. Should be uh, one flash per press, although I kind of break the connection briefly and it will uh, flash again if it uh, reconnects. Sometimes when I let go, it might accidentally uh, reconnect uh, as well. But uh, any case, we got one flash per uh, press. Again, you have a uh, switch bounce um, that you could deal with if need be and uh, whatnot. Also, stray signals will get the LED glowing a little bit uh, right there. Uh, be aware of that. But we got that pulse, quick flash, unless you would get switch bounce. Now, we have the uh, circuit here in its resting state. We're not doing anything with the switch right there. This capacitor will discharge. You can see positive on both sides. Last video, we used the NPN bipolar junction transistor 2N3904. This video, we're using a PNP bipolar junction transistor 2N3906. Otherwise, the circuit is the same. The uh, chemistries are opposite, so polarities are opposite. To the, for the emitter, we have that directly to the positive supply, whereas NPN was directly to the negative supply. These resistors are also to the negative supply. Now they're to the positive. Everything just works in reverse. Otherwise, it's the same. I'm using the same value components and everything. That's half of a microfarad, 0.47 microfarad. Um, as far as my capacitors, this is my uh, highest value where it's still not polarized. I can put it in any direction right there. Um, but in any case, it's uh, naturally discharged. We press the button right there. Press the button. You can see that path. I'm headed uh, to the positive supply through the basin emitter. That allows current to flow from emitter to base over to that side of the capacitor and then current to flow over here until the capacitor charges. That side gets up to almost five volts and this uh, gets down to ground because we got a connection there through the resistor. Although this will uh, kind of pull it up a little bit. Uh, but in case, there you can see we have that path. While current is flowing there, it allows many times the current to flow from emitter to collector. Ultimately the load will set uh, the current the majority of the time right there. And until current slows down enough here, where it kind of dims the LED, but it's so fast in this circuit that you can't tell. Again, I'm getting a bunch of switch bolts. Um, you should just see one bright flash right there if I get a good connection. So, in any case, we press the button. Uh, capacitor charges. Well, it does. We got that flash. Once it's charged, everything comes to a stop right there because there's no more emitter to base uh, current, even though we're pressing the switch. The capacitors don't pass direct current. Current doesn't keep flowing. Once capacitor is charged, it stops. Now we release it and the capacitor discharges. So that's why it uh, blocks uh, direct current. I kept, uh, I keep uh, doing switch bounce with that hand. There you go. It passes current uh, when you press the button, but then it stops. And then when you release it, um, and that was switch bounce, then current goes uh, the other way uh, right there. So again, switch bounce is very common uh, when you're working with switches. Um, so that's why I'm not deleting this. I'm not trying to make this work perfectly. I'm trying to show the imperfections uh, right there. Uh, but yeah, pass through charges. And then, uh, so that's positive going this way towards the negative. And then uh, when it discharges, that side of the capacitor is more positive. So it's working uh, that way uh, towards more negative right there. So as far as the capacitor is concerned, uh, current's flowing that way for a bit. And then that way for a bit. Well, it's charging, I'm thinking positive and negative. And then while well, it's uh, discharging, so it uh, alternates. That's what capacitors do. They let uh, alternating current keep going, but they stop direct uh, current. So uh, that's about it. Yeah, uh, lower value resistor there, 10K, because um, we need, you know, somewhat amount of current to go for the uh, transistor to turn on fully, basically. The, if it has a gain of like 200, for every uh, 0.1 milliamps of current, it lets flow through here. It'll let about 20 milliamps of current uh, flow through the load. And uh, this load will limit it at some point. Um, but in any case, that's basic uh, bipolar junction transistor stuff. And 100,000 ohm resistors, we can use high values uh, for the uh, discharge path here because uh, this is a low value uh, capacitor right there. So we don't need to let much current flow through for it to discharge. Now, of course, at some point, um, you know, we'll be able to give the signal quicker than the capacitor could uh, discharge. And uh, you might have to go like lower value uh, uh, resistors 
or lower value capacitor right there to help speed up the uh, discharge rate. Uh, but we should be doing fine uh, right here. So in any case, uh, and also the uh, protective resistor and LED order doesn't matter uh, right there, especially for a prototype circuit right there. Resistors make better jumpers than LEDs. So that's why I did that. I try to always keep the LEDs, uh, you know, two rows apart from each other and let the resistor jump whatever gap we got. Um, when they're in series, doesn't matter which one comes before the other right there. Uh, LED is going to drop a couple volts because it's red and the resistor is going to set the current after that based on the remaining voltage that it receives. And the transistor is mostly determining whether uh, we get the supply voltage across that load there or it doesn't or if it cuts off. And um, there is going to kind of be a point though at when the uh, capacitor is close to a charge where current's going to go down and it will fade the LED a little bit but um, quicker than what we uh, notice right there. So, in any case, uh, you know, pretty simple circuit and uh, demonstration. So, I explained a little bit more in this case right there. So, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.